Hey guys, this video is the first video in a series of video tutorials for my friends here in Cambodia on how to use Locus Maps as an outdoor navigation app. So if you don't have such a expensive but fancy Garmin device, don't be sad. Android with Locus is a great way to navigate outdoor. Well, these Garmin devices, they are great, definitely, and they are robust, they last long, a good battery life, um, so usually if they fall down, doesn't matter, they are waterproof, and uh, yeah, the newer devices, you can touch uh, the screen even if it's wet, so yeah, they are good, but they cost a lot of money. So I show you in this video on how to get great maps on your Android phone that are free. So just in case uh, if you wonder whether you can get Locos on your iPhone or not, the easy answer is no, you can't. Hey, but do you really want to mount your iPhone on your bike? and go through the rain, go through the dust and maybe lose your iPhone uh, somewhere at a river crossing or whatever. Do you really want that? Well, I don't think so. So I would recommend you go to the market and get a cheap $90 camp phone with a big screen, good resolution. A bright screen that you can easily r read even at daylight and fix that on your bike so if you lose it you don't cry that much as you would do if you lose your iPhone, right? So let's have a look on the main screen. As you can see it's quite naked and honestly, Locus Maps is not very user friendly. So you really have to get used to it first and especially to all the submenus and the settings. But we will look into that in another tutorial. First of all, I will show you how to get more apps because the maps that comes with it are not really useful. I mean, there are some open street maps um, that are quite good but there are also some European map providers and some you can get only with a subscription um, and there is for example no Google well Google itself is not really good for navigation here in Cambodia but I guess you definitely want to have a look at least at the satellite pictures of Google so, how to get those Google satellite imagery? Go to the Play Store and search for this app, Locos Add-on Map Tweak. Install it and open. And there is a button Tweak the Map. Just push it and then something happens. You can see it on the top left and here we go. Downloading data from third-party item, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it. Delete. So, and then if you go into maps again, you will see that there are some more maps, like, for example, Google. Let's say Google Satellite. Okay, confirm. And here we go. But now there are so many maps you don't need. I would recommend you to hide those you don't need. So go to the settings on top right bottom. You can also disable this uh, WMS if you don't know what it is then you definitely don't need it. And click on available maps. So now I will deselect all those uh, we don't need here in Cambodia.
I would recommend you to keep this map the OSM German style because this is a bilingual map so it gives you the names in both in Khmer script and in Latin script. And this navigation charts map is also a very interesting map. Uh, it seems like an old map for uh, air navigation, but there are some interesting tracks on it that are not uh, on any new maps. So maybe it's outdated, but yeah, I find it a quite interesting map. You can have a look on it. Also, all the other maps here. If you have some free time, <laughs> check it. But I, for me, it's not useful here in Cambodia. Also, the Apple map you can uh, dis uh, deselect because you definitely don't need it. It's uh, not much information on it. Good. So let's have a short look on the maps. This is the open cycle map. View of Phnom Penh. This is the classic uh, Phnom Penh map, open street map of Phnom Penh. And you can see it's all in Khmer script. So if you have problems to read that, you can use this one, the German style, because this gives you both then, I mean, there are several satellite imageries like Google, Bing, and Esri, it's a European uh, pictures, and Mapbox. So they're all different. So, but now I show you how to get offline maps. So for that, you open your web browser and enter openantromaps.org. So it's a German website, but you can switch it to English, where you can get great uh, offline pictures with OpenStreetMap data from all over the world. So click here, go to map downloads, countries and regions, Asia, and here in this list, down there is Thailand, including Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. I get, I think it's in a zip file. So this zip file uh, you can extract on your computer and put the file that is inside, it's just one file, and put this file somewhere on your SD card or your device. So I created a folder that's called maps for locus and I put this file thailand.map that's uh, the file inside the zip container and another world map just a very small one um, into this folder. If you have done that you can uh, go to locus and on the bottom of the screen there is this uh, plus, you uh, push that and select external maps. You, there is no data, no directory yet, so you add uh, a directory, you go to your SD card or wherever you put your file, maps for locus and confirm that. Okay, close. And now you can see there are new maps available. So here I select Thailand and I get to a map that is quite nice already. 
but we want to improve that. So we go back to the browser, to uh, the site, and up here is a button, install render theme. If I push the button, I, will, I get to another site, and here it says quick install in Android for Locos push the button and again something is happening it says okay downloading finished okay delete so now I have more render themes available so how to activate it well that is a bit hidden so again you have to click this plus whoops plus and again plus add function to panel and search here for where is it map themes okay if you now if you push that button you get to the internal themes or external themes and you should select the elements le theme and select and deselect as following um, all right so now you you see like for example here in scramble you see the market you see the bank the pagoda uh, gas stations even those uh, smaller ones are on the map and also small small tracks so we can even improve that um, and i show you how you go to the settings, maps, advanced features, map shading, enable it. But only for personal maps and other vector maps, not for the online maps. Well, we, you can use that, but I guess you don't want to have hill shading on a satellite uh, imagery or on other maps that has already a hill shade on it, like the open cycle map. So if you go back to your map, um, you see there is a new button uh, coming up that says it wants to download the navigation, uh, the height data, elevation data necessary, want to download about 20.5 megabyte. So um, if I s select another area, or let's say whole, the whole of Cambodia, it's about 32 megabyte and I want to download that. So now it's downloaded and when you zoom in into your location you can see now there is a nice hill shading and for example here it goes up very steep and you can see that well, let's say for example here guess what it's here here is a waterfall right so yeah that's quite nice isn't it all right, so in the next video I show you how to set up the interface of Locos in a good way. Goodbye.